I see a function with an absolute value in it. So you know I'm automatically jumping to Desmos. On Desmos, I'm going to type my function in. M divided by 4 plus our absolute value bars in the keyboard at the bottom. 2x minus 7. Finish my absolute value bars. Equal to 5m minus 6. So two things I like to change in my functions on Desmos. Number one, if uh, it ever doesn't ask you for a slider and you have a letter in there, you just make your own down below. You just say m is equal to one. That fixes my graph. Um, but two problems here, I don't see anything. And even if I did see something, like it's because I don't have this slid to the right value. Notice how it's these vertical lines that don't really tell us much. And I, and I also can't click on what their solutions are, right? It's a really good habit to get everything to one side of your equal sign. So if I subtract 5m over, so subtract 5m, that would get rid of this 5m. And then if I add 6 over, that would get rid of this 6 on this side, and it would be equal to 0. And then now you get rid of your equal 0. You can see my, my graph is technically the same. My two solutions are actually the same. It's just I can see them now. And now I can focus more on the question they asked. They said, what's going to give us exactly one real solution? So it's much easier to visualize on this graph because it's almost like a parabola. Like as I go this way, I'm stuck with two solutions. If I go too far this way, I have no solutions. So what I want is I want my vertex to be right on there. What's nice is they did give us answer choices so we don't have to get down into the decimals here. I can just say, okay, does negative six over five work? It doesn't. Does zero work for B? Nope. And finally C, 24 divided by 19. It is exactly on there. It's really easy using Desmos this way. It's going to be C here.